everybody, this is Nikki and I'm here to do a reading because it is the Gemini new moon tonight and it is the sign of the twins. So what I wanted to do is just do as a reading for the new moon and also in the background I've set the intent, well actually for all readings I always set the intent for them to be a healing as well. So in the background I've got 528 hertz music playing. As well as that, I just have to say that a lady, just from the videos this morning, a lady has sent a, a song through which is called One Tin Soldier. When I look at it, uh, and it's called The One Tin Soldier, The Original Castle, I'll put that into the description box because in the healing this morning, it came through with the um, Castle on the Hill plus t um, uh, Toy Soldier. But in this, in the in the song, the first comment is 1969, 69 being the divine mirror, and also it has 11,000 um, likes. So again, just more and more signs from spirit to let us know that they are helping us and we are on the right path. Right, so this is the read for going into the new moon, and so in the divine. Um, partner space there's thinking feeling wanting and then in our space thinking feeling wanting and then the energies in the middle and the key things to note on either side so what I'm going to do is I'm going to start off so the first thing is is that what they're thinking about is a strategy and a strategy of how to get their way home to you so this is also driven by the third energy so it's not about you know they're thinking about wanting to come back right they, they've been driven by their soul they've been driven by the divine basically and so they're wanting to know how this is going to happen how they're going to thinking about how they're going to make their way home um, which is lovely number three um, what they're feeling is they're feeling into their I am power. So this is also because Archangel Shamuel is with them. So we had this yesterday in the key thing to note on our side. So this is about, ten, this is 3, 7, 10, which is one, which is new beginnings. So they are thinking about their strategy about how to come home because they're doing that because they are standing more and more in their I am power and feeling the, their cosmic heart. The more they feel their cosmic heart, the more they stand in their presence, the more they stand in their power and the more that they want to come home. So lovely. Um, what they're wanting is they're wanting possibilities and doorways to open up for them. So they want the path to be lit for them to come home. But actually what they need to know is that the more they go into their heart space and then the more that they stand in their I am power, the more that every single one of these doors will always find its way back to you. Because you are the light behind the door. You are their soul path. So the more they stand and the more they take steps more and more further <clears throat> into the light, following their heart, following their truth basically following their I am power the more they do that the more that they can find that the doorways will just open up for them because they'll be guided the path back so lovely so it's all about thinking I want a strategy I want to know how I want my way home they're feeling that they're gonna they're feeling the pull of the cosmic heart more and more and more they're standing in their I am power and they're wanting doorways to open up to them they're wanting to see and make their way to the light so the energy that they're bringing in is the door to romance which is number 33 33 is also a um, master number which means that you are supported by the ascenders masters so this is brilliant because this is literally opening up the door to romance as the card says it's all about opening up that door the cage is no longer the doors are no longer shut you know this this but the pathway is being lit and it's being also lit by all of these heart-shaped rose petals so they're bringing romance and the feeling of romance towards towards the union the key thing that we need to know on their side which is brilliant is that they are holding the rose crystal quartz to their hearts so this is all about feeling the heart more it's also number five which is all about change so a gorgeous little 
you know, that's so lovely. That energy there is amazing because it's like they're feeling the pull of the heart. They're feeling they're holding, you know, they're feeling that their heart. They're standing in more of their presence because they're feeling their cosmic heart. And because of that, they're opening up the doorway to romance. Not only that, but they're supported by the Ascended Masters. So there is so much support on this journey. So gorgeous. So in our space, then what we have, we're thinking that we have the strength, right, to do this. We know that we can do this. We are standing in our I am power. We have the power to change our lives. Again, it's number five. We have the courage of the lion. We are the love warriors. So we are gonna make this happen. We are gonna stand strong in love and we know that we can make the change. So it's brilliant. What we're feeling is we're feeling, which is so great to have this on the new moon, is that we are the magicians for our life. Because it is number 53, which is eight. Eight is all about infinite abundance, being constantly supplied by the universe. There is no net and there is no beginning. We are the alchemists for our own life. We are the ones that create our own destinies we're the ones that create our own fortunes we're we're the ones that create our own abundance and create the life of our dreams so know the you know to get this card today is the perfect day because it's all about setting your intentions for what you want to come out of the new moon to help to let the moon help you create the life of your dreams so we're feeling this we're feeling that we know that we have the strength to do it we know we're, support, we're supported by infinite resources. We also know that we can create abundance. It's up to us to do this. So with that, which is so great, is then the energy that we're bringing in is because we know we're supported and we've got the, we are the alchemist for our own life, we have the abundance coming in. This is the energy that we're bringing in. We're bringing in, it's supported by the divine. It's the third energy. But this is abundance and everything. It's money, it's, it's soul path, it's everything. You know, it's the, it's the butterflies, it's the transformation. It's like the, the enchanted forest behind, it's everything. We provide the light, we provide the abundance, we provide the money, we provide, you know, basically we're the alchemists, right? So that's the energy that we're bringing in. And what we're wanting, which again is brilliant because perfect mirroring again, is we want to heal with our cosmic heart, right? We want to expand the love. We want the twin flames that we are carrying to be grounded into the physical, right? We, because we know that we are doing this. We're healing with our cosmic heart. We know that we're wanting to ground this into physical. This is number six. And I'll show you why it's so perfect because on our wanting space, we've got, got number six, the healer of the ages. On their wanting space, it's also number six, right? So again, perfect, perfect mirroring. The grounding energy, which is why, again, it's so perfect, is number seven, led by spirit. It is the man holding the coin. So, again, because we've got the new moon tonight, the fact that your twin spirit is down at the bottom here saying, I have the coin of truth, I have the coin. Use the twin spirit, call in the twin spirit to create the life of your dreams, to help you create this amazing abundance and be the magician for your own life right they are right here grounding this energy into the physical so you're doing it as a team right teamwork makes the dream work and they're right here holding that coin out for you to say yes this what we're doing here is a joint mission it's like both of you together your energy is both creating the life of your dreams so the key thing to note on our side is that double four, which is eight, which mirrors this, the magician. Not only that, but four is about grounding into physical. And this is what we're bringing to, this is the key thing to note for us. We are the women holding the heart, you know. We are the ones that are bringing this healing energy through our hearts, which then they're feeling over here, 
right? So again, like a perfect, just to go through the story around the feeling, they're feeling the pull of the heart, they're feeling the rose crystal, they're feeling their heart opening up, they're expanding into their I am presence because the cosmic heart is strengthening within them, which is opening up the door to romance because they know that they can have this potential, right? They're feeling their heart, they're wanting, they're opening themselves up to everything that the world will give them. And because of that, they can see that there's abundance coming. They can see and feel that there is but um, an abundant life, you know, they're opening themselves up to making dreams come true and with that they know that they are the magicians for their own lifestyle their own life and because you are providing that love for them they are feeling that and taking it and realizing that there is more to life than what they've been experiencing prior to this date which is why they've been feeling like I never thought I'd have this check second chance but now I really can see that I am I do have this potential. I have the potential to have romance and have a blossoming and abundant life, which is amazing. The crowning energy, which again is so perfect, is the happy family and it's number four. And it's about grounding this into physical, that they want the rainbow. They want to have this amazing experience. They want to have this dreams come true lifestyle. They want everything, right? They want it to be all around, somebody who's literally just sent me a note saying they've just been seeing double sevens on a car plate. <laughs> so there you go, and double sevens is all about spiritual awakening, spiritual path, knowing that you're on your right journey, and also abundance. So another amazing message to get on the night of the new moon. So basically, the underlying, you know, what's at the bottom of the whole thing, it's all about this, it's number 11. This is you holding the Book of Wisdom with the, with the butterflies of transformation, wearing the green dress, right? The healing, you are the woman that holds the Book of Truth, right? You know, you were being supported by the angels, you know that this is going to be a path that is going to be lit with gold, right? You know that you can create, you have the power here to create the abundant life to use the twin spirit, to call in that twin spirit energy to help you create this abundance, to help create this happy family. Because this is what's gonna come. This is what's coming. What they're doing is they're feeling this pull of the heart. They need, you need to be patient because this is all gonna come. But the biggest thing is, is that they're thinking about how to make it happen and then also wanting doorways to open. But the grounding energies all mirroring each other because with the healer of the ages, what happens? All doorways are lit to the light, basically. So what you want to know is that all doorways will be lit to the light, which means that they will find their way home because look at this double sixes and a seven all doorways will lead back to him coming home bringing you and your dreams and making everything come true so there you go an amazing read for the divine for the, <laughs> all divine partners basically on the eve of the gemini moon so make sure you're putting out your intentions to create the life of your dreams all right, well, I hope that helps. Take care, have a good one, bye. If you wanna to come to me for healing, or to join the Crystal Grid, or to have a reading using these cards for your own union, then please do, because I love doing them. They're just, you know, these cards just tell such an amazing story, so very happy to do it for anyone. Okay, take care, bye.